Okay, I went over the radio. I aligned it. It wasn't far off at all, just a little bit. But I had an issue. I, I figured it out. Um, but here, here was the issue. You could barely hear. I mean, it was getting stations in good. But now you can barely hear it. Unless you touch the grid of the detector Two for chairman chief. The only guy willing to push back again. Then I got great volume. Then I started poking around. And I noticed, looking at the one, two, three, two, two, where it's coming in, the signal's coming in. Um, I would touch the antenna here on the grid. Great volume. Thought, well, maybe it's the the RF coupler coil that I had to, to rebuild to fix. Test it on this side antenna. Fine, same volume, all good. Right, well, there's something wrong in this area. And I, 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 everything's all new. Tested all the uh, resistors, everything good. And then I noticed something. I'm looking in here at the tube. And the filament crosses from the 8 to the 7. And from the 8 up here, it's hard to see. 8 to the 7, and then this wire here. didn't notice that it was never connected at the bottom. I don't know, it, it wasn't for me. I clipped and it just J-hooked here. So this wire, I didn't even see it. It was sticking straight out at me. It's hard to see. Got a loose connection. Went through, followed it back to here, to this tube where the filament is, it's good. Check the voltages here. I got good AC coming here, but it wasn't grounded. So I wasn't getting the tube heating up. I tested the tube, the tube was good. So I assumed it was all running good. Don't assume anything. So I took this line, I'm just gonna ground it. Just so it'll heat up that tube. And as that tube heats up, there it is, it's heating up. We'll see how the volume is. Here it comes. We just, we just live in it. And finally, uh, Chairman Xi pulls off the ultimate. Gotta turn that down now. And now, I'm getting stations midpoint now where it wasn't before couldn't hear anything I'm kind of in a hole anyway so that was it <laughs> so I gotta go in there and uh, make sure that gets soldered in there good and then I can start working on the Bluetooth. See you in a bit. Okay, now after aligning, everything comes in real well. That was the push button one here. And I got plenty of volume now. Their professionalism, their knowledge of how to deal with the IRS took over and he immediately felt a sense of calm. Finally, somebody knew Tell what they were doing, that he had confidence in. Good. All of that after just one phone call. He knew he was in the hands of some real pros. Optima negotiated a deal that allowed him to... ...dollars in tax... Outstanding IRS issues, no matter what So they next are, is uh, Bluetooth. America's number one most trusted tax Back. relief firm. Optima Tax. Well, here's a quick update. I was working on the Bluetooth, running it for a while, seeing how it sounded, and then it just went out, and then I got this massive hum again. So I started looking around. I started tapping on the new capacitors, nothing, and then I noticed 
I was getting some noise up in this tube barrier, and then I discovered I missed a cap. He's way back in there. Let's see if I can point him out. Right there. The white one. I can barely see him. So, now I gotta dig him out and put a new one in there and uh, <laughs> try it again. Well, like I said before, I go through and I check everything and mark it off as I go so I know what I replaced and what I didn't. And I missed it. I didn't miss it as in I didn't mark it. I missed it completely. It's right here. I didn't see it. I didn't mark it. I didn't replace it. This is a um, 0 .006. I replaced this one here which is this one, same value, but I didn't get the other one. Didn't see it, didn't get it. Somebody put this one in. 0 0.01. Instead of, oops, 0 0.006. So, that would make my hum and my flutter, obviously. Throwing all kinds of stuff in the speaker, so I'll get that replaced and be right back. Okay, okay we're back. To, uh, um, yeah, no hum. I had, I had this interference, Most I couldn't figure out what it was, and then I realized it was. Uh, uh, our conservative. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, I'm just throwing it out. I don't even know that that's so, necessarily true, but I know that a lot I'll of people... I'll mark that off on the schematic and then double check the here's entire a, thing. Here's Bob, Bob in Coronado, California. Great this is the Bluetooth you, sir, that I'm Bob. wearing up. Hey, Rush, um, I'm going to do some very simple... This is the Bluetooth that I'm wearing up. I'll go over this uh, here pretty soon. Uh, this is all wired up to... This is the Bluetooth here, if you'll let me round our population to and it's connected to the power supply here. This power supply is your typical phone. Grab one here. It's your typical phone wall wart. Everybody has these. Everybody's got a bunch of these laying around in their house. Take it apart. Take it out of the case, make sure it's got it's running through a transformer. And it's not wired directly, so in a weird way. These things come from China. So this is wired in to this strip here. So I got AC coming in. This is gonna go directly to the AC power coming in here. These wires here, this is for the LED light put it wherever if I want to. Um, the output ground will go to the chassis and then this is both outputs into one and that'll go to the volume which will be here. So I'll just connect this cap here and he'll be running through to double throw Double pull, double pull, double throw, switch. So with that switch, it'll move, it'll disconnect this cap and just have this going to it so you won't hear any radio in the background. And in the same time, it'll throw this power on. Because if I just did a switch taking this on and off, and this was still plugged in, it'd still give power to here, and you're, you're going to get this Bluetooth interference, kind of a flutter 
digital kind of sound through the radio. So I have to turn this off to cancel that out. Which is better because I don't want this thing running all the time anyway in the background. I'd rather kill it all together. So with that double pull, double throw switch, it kills the power when I'm not using it. So it's perfect. Um, I'll go over this in the next video of how I'm going to install it in here and run the wires. Okay, I originally on this Bluetooth, you have the Bluetooth device here, you have the power supply here. I originally was putting this terminal strip here with the wires all connected to it and I was going to mount that whole thing inside underneath the chassis. And then I started thinking about it. I'm like, well, you know, this entire metal chassis might interfere with the Bluetooth. They may not, but it might. Um, and it was kind of crowded in there anyway. I was, I was getting pretty close to, to uh, some of the components already. And I didn't want anything shortened out. So I thought, you know, there's, there's spots on this radio that I can utilize now that I didn't have before like this here this is where the original capacitor was the multi cap stood you know fairly tall so what I did is I took a a, uh, a cardboard tube and cut it down Now this will slide inside. I can get this done with one hand. That'll all slide inside. I'll put a little cap on the top. I'll have all the wires go at the bottom. It'll slip right in there. No interference. It's clear of everything. Um, just got to dress it up and make it look like a cap or something similar and hide it. And that'll be perfect. Everything will be up here, out of the way. Wires down below. It won't look out of place. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to look into some ideas on how to dress that up and make it look like it's supposed to be there. And I'll be back. Okay, real quick, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this cardboard cylinder. I got some uh, wrapping paper that looks like metal. At least close enough. And a little spray adhesive, wrap it around this. And then uh, we'll stick this inside, cap it off, and see how that looks once it's in the set. Okay, there I rolled on there, and I went ahead and cut it a little long, and then tuck the ends in. It look better once I wrap this. Stick that in the top, and then you won't you won't notice. I'll slide right in there. I think that'll look good in there. Hide the Bluetooth pretty well, I think. All right. Okay, okay now before I install this, I put a couple of tabs or little dabs of uh, hot glue just on the corners there on both ends just to keep it from moving. Plus, it gives me a platform to set that cap piece on. It'll rest right on top of that. It won't go down any further. It'll be perfect. So let's see if I can wrap this thing in here with one hand. Let's get this guy in there first. Oh. A little more difficult than I thought.
two thick blacks for the power. This thin black one here I'm feeding in now is the ground for the audio. seam against the cabinet there. Well, let's see where the antenna's going. Not that it matters a whole lot. And let's slide him in place. Looks pretty good. And I'll start rewiring the back. All wired in. There's a switch, disconnects it. So it's all coming in through there. Power supply runs through this switch. So when I turn it on the Bluetooth, it only turns on the power supply then. And when it's not on, it doesn't interfere with the radio. And same with the connection, the audio going in. It runs in, connects to that cap right in the center there. So when its power's on, it goes through, goes right in through the uh, volume pot there. It gives you the sound. When it's disconnected, power supply to the Bluetooth is disconnected and it's all good. If, if it was still on you'd hear a, a clicking and a buzz so I had to make something up for that. Now looking on the outside that's what you see. There was an existing hole here made it slightly larger inserted the switch. Bluetooth on Bluetooth off. Simple. Bluetooth is in here. It's all in there. Get the cap. It'll slide on there. Wouldn't even be able to tell. Alright, now it's time to refinish the cabinet.